In the last lecture, we learned what are pipes and how and where to use them. We also saw some examples of Angular's built-in pipes. Now, in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how to create our own custom pipes. For that, let's head over to VS Code. And here, we want to create a pipe called percentage. And when we use that pipe on a value, it will convert that value to a percentage. Okay, it will return us the percentage from that value. So to create a custom pipe, the first thing which we need to do is we need to create a new file. So inside this app folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this file percentage. And since it is going to be a pipe after this percentage, we can use dot and then we can specify pipe and then we can use this dot ts extension. Okay, now inside this file, let's go ahead and let's create a class. Let's call this class percentage pipe. And let's also export this class. Now we need to make this class implement an interface. And the interface name is pipe transform. And to use this pipe transform, we also need to import it from Angular slash co. Now this pipe transform interface provides a method called transform. And since we are making this class implement this pipe transform interface, Inside this class, we will have to implement that transform method. Okay, so inside this pi percentage pipe class, let's define the transform method. And let's remove these values from here. And this transform method is going to take a parameter. Let's call that parameter value. And for now, let's specify its type as any. So in this value parameter, we will receive the value on which we were using this pipe. And you will understand that in a bit. Now, this transform method should return some value. It should return the transformed data. Okay, so for that, let's use this return keyword. And we want to transform this value in some way. So for now, let's simply multiply this value by 100. And then let's return that value. Okay. And finally, we also need to decorate this class with at pipe decorator. So at pipe decorator. And to use this at pipe decorator, we also need to import it from Angular slash co. And to this at pipe decorator, we can pass an object. And inside this object, we can specify some metadata. So for now, let's specify the name for the pipe. And let's call it percentage okay so what we have done so far we have created a class and for this class we are implementing this pipe transform interface and this pipe transform interface provides a method called transform so we are implementing that method as well then we are also decorating this class with at pipe decorator so in this way we have created a pipe now we also need to declare this pipe we need to register this pipe inside the app modules file so let's go to app modules.ts and inside the declaration section let's declare this percentage pipe and to use this class here inside this app modules we also need to import it from this file and now we should be able to use this pipe so here let's copy the name of this pipe which is percentage and let's go ahead and let's use it on some value so let me remove this pipe from here this currency pipe and I want to use this percentage pipe on this value on this expression so we have learned that to use a pipe we first use this pipe symbol and then we specify the pipe name now the pipe name here is percentage right Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you will notice that now that value has been converted to its percentage. It is displaying the percentage from this value. So here what will happen is this value, this expression, the value returned by this expression will be assigned to this value parameter. And we are multiplying that value with 100 and then we are re returning the result. Okay. Now, let's say what we also want is here we are dividing this marks by this total marks and then on that 
we are using this percentage pipe. Now what we want is, we also want to pass this total marks as an argument for this percentage pipe. And based on this total marks, this percentage pipe should calculate the percentage. Let's see how to do that. So for that, we can specify another parameter for this transform method. Let's call this parameter maybe total marks. And it is going to be of type number. And let's also specify the type of this value as number. Okay, then let's use this total marks parameter here. So what we want is we want to divide this value by the total marks. And then we want to multiply it by 100. Now let's go to appcomponent.html. So now we know no more need to use this total marks here. We are simply going to use this percentage pipe on this marks and then to this pipe we can pass the total marks as its argument so to pass an argument to a pipe we use colon and then we specify the value which we want to pass as an argument right so here we want to pass the value stored in this total marks property as its argument so here let's copy this property name and let's pass that property the value stored in that property as an argument to this percentage pipe with this let's save the changes the output should be same here so the output is same but this time we are passing this total marks as an argument to this percentage pipe finally what i also want is i only want to display two digits after this decimal okay so i should be able to pass the number of digits which i want after the decimal as an argument to this percentage pipe so let's again go back to our pipe class and here let's specify a third parameter and let's simply call it maybe decimal and again it is also going to be of type number and on this expression on this complete expression i'm going to use a method called to fixed okay and to this to fixed method let's pass this decimal parameter now what this two fixed method do it returns a string representing a number in fixed point notation so if we pass two here if the value of this decimal is two in that case this two fixed method will display only two digits after the decimal okay let's see that so let's again go back to a app component.html and now we also want to pass a value for the second parameter for the decimal parameter of this percentage pipe so for that again we can use a colon and then we can specify the value so here let's pass 2 with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you should notice that now after the decimal point it is only displaying two digits if i pass 3 here in that case it should display three digits okay as you can see so in this way we can also pass arguments to our custom pipe okay so the first argument of this transform method receives the value on which we are using the pipe and rest other parameters receive the arguments which we have specified for that pipe. And this is how we can create and use a custom pipe. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.